Hallelu, it's me, Shangela, and I'm with Who, What, Where. Baby, I'm about to take a trip down fashion memory lane and play a little game called Would You Wear It Now? Oh, y'all got me. <laughs> okay, uh, the word fashion here is used very loosely. I remember this is me walking in the door, the entrance look for season two of RuPaul's Drag Race. Listen, I was a drag queen. I'd only performed 10 times prior to this, but you couldn't tell me that I wasn't walking in and winning. I'm from Texas, so I went with the Texas big hair. This dress is a wrap dress from Santee Alley. I know it's a very expensive store. Anyone in LA knows it's the downtown garment district where you just go to get the little $20 rainbow dress. That's what this was. And I remember I paired it with this necklace thinking, okay, maybe I'm showing too much of the old decolletage. So let me put on a necklace because that's proper, you know, a proper lady would do it. I have a handbag and a little monkey fur. <laughs> it's really not monkey and it's really not fur, but it gave the illusion. And that's what this entire look is, an illusion of fashion. It is not fashion. <laughs> This look was for the season four um, finale taping. Oh my goodness, I think this is a Marco Marco. Yes, this is a Marco Marco piece. I got this from him and I love it so much because it was like edgy for me. It was like rockerish, which is why the hair is in like the faux hawk mohawk piece. And I loved it. Oh, yay, finally something I live for. No, this is great. This is by my friends, the designers, Estrada. The Estrada twins, Jesus and Antonio Estrada made this look for me. And I remember telling them, listen, I want something that is loose and kind of like Floyd because in my past seasons on Drag Race, every time we go in for the first episode, there is like a photo shoot challenge. And who knows what they're gonna have me doing. You know, I'm thinking like jumping or running or dodging trucks. So I was like, I want something that I can get around fairly easily in. I wanted to be branded Shangela. They had rhinestone, the Hallelu in front, and actually had that, that's my signature, that they had printed onto the dress. And also the color. You know, I wanted to go in there with the Tiffany box, because I wanted to say my tagline. I guess the box got an upgrade and so did I. And so I wanted this color that was inspired by the Tiffany brand to be the color of the look. I love this look. I even had a little bow up in the hair because I just want to be cutesy and, and fun. And now that's actually the look that's on my Funko doll. I would most definitely wear this now. I still have this look. I had this look and so many of my Drag Race looks in a storage all safely tucked away for, <laughs> tucked away, for uh, possibly who knows what. But I definitely have this look and I, it's stretched and I can get into it. Ooh, yes indeed. Rico Cavalli from Texas made this coat for me. This large gold coat was inspired by something I saw on a fashion runway and we recreated this look. And I remember in the moment, as you can see, that's not the happiest face of Shangela. This is when I found out that I would not be proceeding into the top two. And so I was disappointed, but I loved the look and I love that coat. Originally, here's a fun fact. I'm wearing that coat because they allowed us to change for the finale performance, right? When I thought I was gonna do Wrecking Ball, and baby, I was ready for the Wrecking Ball. I was about to have a stunt and a show, and I said, oh, I'm winning, baby, because I have all these really cool things that I'm gonna do to Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball under the coat. So that's why I needed the coat. It covered up all the stunts and shows that I had, the gags and everything, under the coat. The coat originally, was created for a look that I was wearing. There was a category that they might have had called executive realness. And I was going full on La Quipa, you know, a CEO from the streets. And the look was a gold jumpsuit, okay, very 1970s inspired, sparkly leopard La Quipa, and this jacket went draped over the shoulders. And I had a briefcase that was fully rhinestone, a cane, and a hat with a feather. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. This look is one of my favorite of my entire life. It is a dress that was created by Diego Montoya, who actually is the lead designer with me on Team Shangela for We're Here. Remember, this is in uh, London. This is in Leicester Square. They had the premiere there and I was in the middle of touring and I just happened to be performing in the UK, in London, with the premiere. I was like, I'm coming, I'm going. So Diego shipped this dress. My mom actually brought this dress over on a flight the morning of the carpet. 
and thankfully it fit. We added this little tool on the bottom. Um, the guy Derek Purcell from Bang London came to my hotel room at the Amba in, in London and like sewed the tool onto the bottom because my heels were so high that the dress didn't touch the ground. The detail in the pearls that are on this look, like it was so detailed and ornate. That's why I loved it. Even on the sleeves, the detail was just brilliant. And when I touched the carpet, it, I, I, I really felt like a, a star. Oh, this is the Oscars red carpet. This is such a special moment. I had this picture framed in my home because like, I'll never forget this day. The dress was created by Diego Montoya, again. The dress and the Uber came to the house about 1.30 in the morning. I got, this is the night before the Oscars. I got the dress. I'm so excited, but there's nobody to zip me up in the dress. So I just had to look at the dress until the next morning when I put the dress on. This is when I was living in Jennifer Lewis's basement. So I put the dress on, you know, downstairs, and I ran up to Jen, and I'm like, I gotta, you gotta zip me up. And I like woke her up, and, and Diego also made Jennifer's look. That's there as well. Both looks arrived the night before, and I was so thankful that when we zipped that thing up, baby, it fit like a glove. I remember I didn't have anyone to help me, and Jen, and the, and Jen goes, ah, I'm gonna help her. This is my, she calls this my, this is my child, honey. This is my child. So she comes out there and she's lifting the train, she's pulling it, and I'm like, oh my God, Jennifer, you know, you're like an A-list celebrity. Please, don't be holding my train. This, and she's like, ah, uh -uh, baby, they gotta see all the dress. They gotta see the dress, honey. And that's what the joy in this photo is. It's, and you know, the fashion is amazing. But what I remember more than that was everything that went into this moment and the fact that we weren't taking ourselves so seriously on a red carpet, it was about the love and the moment. This leotard, this dance costume is created by Rico Cavalli and he had rhinestone, beaded fringe, the heck out of this one. And this is the moment at the GLAAD Awards that I was able to perform a Beyonce medley for Beyonce herself. And I'll never forget, baby, that's the dance costume. And you know what I love about this costume? Cause you know, Shangela is a showgirl. This is a showgirl look. There are, you know, there's Swarovski crystals, rhinestones, beaded fringe, okay? It moves, it shakes. Every time I move, baby, the costume says shh, shh. Now it's heavy, but it's still lovely. And I love it. After the performance, I said, Beyonce would, we'll meet you now. You know, I'm like, oh, Beyonce wants to meet me. So I run to her hotel room and I just remember walking up to her and she's so beautiful and she just radiates like love and joy. She's from Texas and I'm from Texas, you know? And I remember saying, to, no, she said to me first, cause I wanted to say like amazing, memorable things. Like it's Beyonce. And she looked at me and she goes, you were so good. And I was like, ah! And all I could do was repeat everything she said. I was so nervous. I said, oh my God, you are so good. And she goes, thank you. I just, I love you were in it. I could just tell, you know, like your eye, your face, you were really in it. And I was like, you are always in it, thank you. It was wonderful, I'll never forget. Okay now, this is the Tuck Dynasty. This is Duck Dynasty, Tuck Dynasty, honey. This look is from season one of We're Here. This look was also created by Diego Montoya. This look is in the forest. That's not a backdrop, that's the real forest. And you see those pumps down there covered in feathers? Those are real pumps on real mud, all right? And this look is in Ruston, Louisiana. And our theme is, you know, for each of the first entrance looks for me, Bob, and Eureka, whenever we have the show, we all like have a theme for each one of the intros. And this theme was um, like hunting in a way. So we wanted to go with those colors. And I remember Diego was like, I want you to have these majestic sleeves. And I said, okay, baby, but I need to see my arms a little bit. Cause you know, I'm short, I'm, I'm only like five, six out of heels. So I was like, I need to have length. And he goes, oh, we're gonna give you length. That's why the, it's cut so high, the leotard there, so I can have a long leg and that flowy, don't get me naming fabrics, cause you know, I don't sew, I'm not the seamstress queen, okay? So I'll be saying, you know, the fabric, the the, 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 the itchy one that you can, you know, push and pull up and that's, yeah. You'd see that on the gloves, there are rhinestones, like it is stones placed on the gloves specifically, the, you know, the accessories, that op, those opera glasses that they had painted gold and then they stone the, the glasses as well. The mohawk hair, cause I want them to be snatched 
back for this look. And Miss Ashley Iman out of Houston, Texas made that hair, shipped it in a box. It arrived that morning and I whoop, popped it on. Oh, this one's grand. I love this is from We're Here season two, the Selma, Alabama episode. And here I am standing on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, a bridge where people know so well about the history and the tragedy you know, that happened in America uh, in our fight for racial equality. And the, standing on this bridge in drag as a black person in America was so very powerful to me. This look is created by Diego Montoya. And I remember when we got assigned the city of Selma, Alabama, we both were like, okay, we want to do something that is period, you know, from the 60s in this look. But also, I remember telling Diego, like, okay, baby, I'm a drag queen. I like rhinestones, glitter, fringe. He said, Shangela, we can't, you know, this look doesn't necessarily have that. I said, I don't know, baby, is it still going to pop? Because I didn't know if the look would, how it would pop. And this look pops. I wanted to represent the women going to church on Sundays who were fashionable. You know, we used to wait for Sunday. I even my, in my small town of Paris, Texas, when my grandma would get ready for Sunday church, she might wear that duster through the week. She might have on pants going to the grocery store. But come Sunday, baby, she was going to that closet and having out the most lovely, the jewels and, and the, the look and the dress. And that's what this is. We have a hoop skirt, a tulle skirt under here, the gloves, such detail on the gloves, pearls everywhere, pearls. I feel like Coretta Scott King, honey. That's so it. We didn't want to feel like we were in costume. We wanted to feel like we were paying homage. And I think we accomplished it for sure with this look. Oh baby, I'm about to wear it in just a few minutes. I might wear it tonight just to go in here and pay homage again. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Listen, if you have a favorite look, maybe do me a favor and drop it in the comments down below. Oh, I wanna thank you so much for having me here with who, what, where, and hey, if you want some more of the Duchess, the doll, catch me and my sisters, Bob the Drag Queen and Eureka O'Hara hosting HBO's We're Here. It comes on Mondays, but it's also currently streaming on HBO and HBO Max. Thank you, bye.